हेलो गाइस वेलकम बैक टू द चैनल एंड दिस इज नेक्स्ट प्रॉब्लम प्रॉब्लम नंबर 344 ए एंड द प्रॉब्लम लिंक इज स्लैश प्रॉब्लम स्लैश 344 स्लैश ए सो द प्रॉब्लम नेम इज मैग्नेट्स एंड द मैग्नेट्स आर टेलिंग अबाउट मैग्नेट्स बेसिकली सो लेट मी रीड द प्रॉब्लम मैथ साइंटिस्ट माइक एंटरटेन सिंपल बाय अरेंजिंग रोज ऑफ डोमिनोस He does not need dominoes, though he uses a rectangular magnet instead. Each magnet has two poles, positive a plus, and a negative a minus. If two magnets are put together at a close distance, then the like poles will repel each other, and the opposite poles will attract each other. Mike starts by laying one magnet horizontally on the table. During each following step, Mike adds one more magnet horizontally to the right end of the row. depending on how mike puts the magnet on the table it is either attracted to the previous one forming a group of multipack magnets linked together so mike is basically arranging magnets horizontally on the table and depending on the magnet orientation they either attract or repel so we already know that how the magnets works so and depending on how mike puts the magnet on the table It is either attracted to the previous one, forming a group of multiple magnets linked together, or repelled by it. And Mike lays this magnet at some distance to the right from the previous one. We assume that a sole magnet not linked to others from a group of its own. So we know, we have assumed that if the magnets are grouped together, then they form one group, and if they are not, uh, uh, if they are like not forming a group. then they are separated at a some distance and they form their sole group so generally when the image we see that three magnets form one group this one magnet form another one group and this two magnets join to form a group so they also form a one group my arrange multiple magnets in a row and determine the number of groups that the magnet form so the input is first line of the inputs contain an integer n the number of magnets the n lines follow ninth line contains an integer character 0 1 that means plus minus and 1 0 that means minus plus output the single lines containing the number of group of magnets so that's an easy problem and how we are going to solve this problem is problem number 344 a so so basically what we have to do here is that int n equals to 6 t dot next int and this n is equals to the number of magnets and now we have to check the previous string and the current input string so let me assign it to an empty string and while n minus minus is greater than equal to 1 now if s dot equals i have also a maintain a count variable and if s dot equals 1 0 and at s we have to check that the current string is not equals to so s will be c dot next that means the current input string and if s dot equals is not equal to s when that means this is a new string okay so we have to do a count plus plus okay and we can also keep a condition that s dot equals no i will separate that condition okay is so s1 equals to 10 here and let me if s dot equals if 
zero one and and not equal to s dot equals s one then count plus plus and s one equals to zero one so next we have to just print value of count so it was a very basic problem and which what i did is that i initialize and in two empty string it's an s1 and then initialize a variable counter count equals to zero now if i entered the new string and it's s dot equals one zero and it is not equal to the previous string then means count plus plus and if the next string is also one zero then here it is equals to s1 then we will not count this as it does not form another group if it is equal to 0 1 that means it forms another group so and it is also not equal to the previous string that means on plus plus and s1 equals to 0 1 so let's just check so yes this passes let me check for another test case yep it passes so let me just submit that problem solution and let's see whether code code forces passes the solution or not so yep accept it so that was a very basic and very easy problem problem number 344a guys so that's all for today okay bye bye good night